Watch out! I'm on fire. I love the smell of gasoline and the sound of screeching tires. I'm on a trail. This hunter's got the scent and he will not fail to bag the prize. I'll see through every disguise. Pippi girl, I'm packing quite a surprise. Enough of talking tough. Nobody walks out on me without things getting rough. Now who's to blame? Life ain't no game when you're dating a hoochie coochie dame. That little she belongs to me. I'm staking claim on some fine booty. Women walking out on me, well, that's a nasty habit. They're gonna get in trouble like this little bunny rabbit. <laughs> oh, see it. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> it's just a little roadkill. Happens when you stand still. Bottom of my boot heel. Really ain't no big deal. Don't mean no ill will. But if you get in my way, watch out. It's just roadkill. So love. Jackson Miss. Stop in Texarkana for a brew and a piss. Guess it up. Grab a 12 pack of coolers to fill my coffee cup, rice and beans in New Orleans. And once again, I'm on the scene. Go another hundred miles, huff another pen. Nab that creeder with the jitters, it's time to kill again. <laughs> it's just a little roadkill, splat against the windshield. Chicken fry to spit grill, gives the girls a big thrill. Just like Jack and Jill. Tumbling down the hill, watch out! You just roadkill. Popped a puss in Pensacola, bled the bird in Baton Rouge. And Sarasota stopped him for some porno and a spooch. Tyler has it looking for some good, clean fun. Now that deer in the headlights, Bambi's done. Hey, you got something on your bumper. Oh, that? It's. Just a little roadkill happens when you stand still. Bottom of my boot heel really ain't no big deal. Flat against the windshield, chicken fried a spit grill. Gives the girls a big thrill. Better take your pain pill if you get in my way. Just roadkill. But I'm looking for somebody, and it's real important that I find her. Whoa, 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 sugar love. You're not supposed to be back here. You need to turn yourself around and enter the club from the other side of the building. Yeah, this here dressing room is for kitty cats only, not for dirty dogs. Arr. Hey, now. Well, I'm just trying to find this dancer, see? I'll just bet you are. Oh, you reek of permanent marker. <laughs> And you are invading on my personal space. Now, don't you make me call the club manager out of the front office. His name is Leo, and he's got a real bad temper. Front office, huh? Mm -hmm. As in personnel files and all the dancers? Yeah. Mm -hmm. As in local address and phone numbers? Oh, no. Beat it, ass jacket. Oh, Pippi, come on now. Herbert, just tell me what's going on. Girls, you mind giving us some privacy? Sure, sure, sure. honey. I hear there's Christian rock stars in VIP. Wait. Oh, <laughs> Robert, what is going on? One minute you're begging me not to.
about to leave Stark, the next we're broken up, then we're back together. Now you want us to get separate motel rooms. Well, I just think what with the storm knocking out the electricity and everybody from Armadillo Acres coming over to the same motel, it's the right thing to do. Well, they saw Janie's friends, you know? Well, gee, as long as Janie's feelings aren't getting hurt, don't go worrying about mine. Oh, oh Pippi, you know I care. Well, what can I do? Norman, I've been really patient with your situation, but I do not have all the time in the world. I am not that young a woman. Feel free to dispute that. Well, you're young and you're pretty and hey, you're flexible. No, but, but the point is, is that I'm starting to look ahead and that's not something I'm used to doing. And my days in this racket are numbered. Stripping's like an all-you-can-eat waffle bar. You gotta know when to walk away. Well, but don't you think if I had a million dollars I could give you so she wouldn't have to do this no more, I would. No, but I'm not asking you to take care of me. I'm asking that you stop living in the past and start thinking about tomorrow. Well, it's not that simple. Why not? Well, because tomorrow's my anniversary. It's my 20th. Uh, well, me and Jeannie was going to do something special. The escapades. I heard all about that. I've been getting dirty looks at the trailer park all month like it's my fault. No, but do you really think she was going to make it all the way to that show with you? Well, I don't know. Maybe. Well, even so, I am worried about her in that trailer park all alone. Well, well with the power and the phone still cut off, I just want to check on her is all. Call you? Well, shoot. If you knew dating a good man, it'd be more trouble than dating an asshole. So what if he's playing? And no Rockefeller, he's my toy star. Don't care who you are. That is what I see. He's got a beat up old car. I gotta hold the door closed when we go out on the town. It doesn't bring me down as long as I'm with him and he's with me. You might say he's dumb, or better yet, that he's boring. But nobody's perfect. But he He's mine, he is all that I could need Maybe you don't think he's much, so what he's mine When did all this get so crazy? I thought I had the simple life but my heart's been complicated, my home life evaporated, cause my girlfriend has created a new problem for my wife. I'm not the first in this position. People break up all the time, but two women broken hearted from what me and Pippi started Makes the guilt from when I parted With my girl seem like a crime Nothing's easy, nothing's safe Nothing's not worth the mistakes You make when you're caught between a hard place and a rock So take it easy, take it safe then you're bound to make those mistakes. It happens to everyone. What's the answer after all? It's never easy. Well, now that he's gone, this trailer sure seems quiet. No more nighttime snores or stupid football scores or silly things he does. I'll do what I have to do. I won't stand for cheating, especially with the girl next door. What does he take me for? He ain't the smartest one, but then he never was. But he was mine. He was mine and mine alone. The only one I dreamed about I couldn't be without. 
what we had was special He was mine, he was mine for all those years He really fucked things up, but he was mine You might say he's dumb, or better yet that he's married well, nobody's perfect. Nothing's easy, nothing's safe. Nothing's not worth the mistakes you make when you're caught between a hard place and a rock. So take it easy. Maybe you don't think he's mine. Sure, he's sleeping with some slut. <laughs> some might say, who cares, so what? But he is mine. It's so many freaking jobs. Pickles, we ain't really working all these jobs. We're not? No. We're just helping tell the story. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, never mind. I'll explain it to you later. In the meantime, we gotta find Lynn. That's no, 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 they didn't. They finally killed my Earl. Oh, oh no, that's terrible. The prison found out about the power being out and they flipped the switch on old Smokey while they still had the juice. That is so sneaky. You know, there was a time when a series of sexual favors actually meant something to a governor. <laughs> Since the pokey became my husband's home, knew this day would come. When a trail park woman's man gets fried, it's hard to let go of your only one. Only one? He was a beard-guzzling, porno-watching, ass-scratching, stripper-screwing, anything that's moving, doing, man. Oh, but linoleum, you're gonna have to live without the sweet, sweet loving of your one true thing. Honey, when your husband's been on death row for eight years, your one true thing comes with batteries. I think I'm gonna like my freedom. My husband in jail got him out of my hair, though it sucked while I was waiting for the day he got the chair. Running house to house can make you such a bitch just to wind up in a blackout with Earl getting the switch. Now think of him fondly on romantic nights when my new boyfriend turns on the lights. You know I love my man, he had a bitch in town. You know I love my man, he never joined the clan. You know I love my man, his troubles all please plan. I'm that electric chair's biggest fan. That's why I love my man. Oh, I love my man too, Lynn. He bought me all these fancy presents for the baby. He's away doing dinner theater. Uh -huh. It's hard to describe a man's love in terms of size Even harder if you judge it when you cannot fertilize I think the key to happiness is having kids So I open up my cookie jar and throw away the lid <laughs> Practice makes perfect for my special girl Sometimes we do it in separate rooms Oh my gay hell You know I love my man, I am his biggest fan You know I love my man, he's starting Peter Pan You know I love my man, just ask my grandma his body's calling dance and dance. That's why I love my man. Oh, honey, I know all about going without. <laughs> my man's gone to that mobile home in the sky. He left all this to me the day he died. Some days I wish I had him back. And so he's been
in the introduction that I'm hoping to locate an old friend of mine, and I was told by her employer that she lives here at Armadillo Acres. Oh, that's so sweet. Hold still. I'm going through a divorce. Well, more like a separation. But I think the time has come to leave all this behind. Uh, you got a car? Pontiac Grand Am, American made, high five. Mm, that's good. <laughs> it just so happens I'm looking for a trailer hitch up. You think you could tow me? So you where? I'm not sure. Which trailer park does Britney Spears live in? How about I make a deal with you? I'll take you anywhere as you want between here and Oklahoma City if you can tell me something about a girl named Pippi. Pippi! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can tell you something about a girl named Pippi. <laughs> She's doing my husband! How is that about something about a girl named Pippi? Excuse me? <laughs> Pippi is sleeping with a married man! That car! Which one of these trailers she live in? You tell me. Tell me right now. I will not tell you anything until you gain some personal control. Across the way, door she should be open. You stay right where you are. <laughs> she ain't home. Where is she? Where is she? Well, I don't know. If she's doing your husband, I can take care of her right nice. Ain't nothing sweeter than revenge, baby doll. Nothing sweeter than R-E-V. <laughs> Angie. Just tell me where she is. I swear I don't know. Oh, okay. Okay. No worries. Well, it ain't gonna be hard to find Pippi. I know where she lives. Here, help yourself while I tell you the plan. First, I get me a little R&R &R at the local motel. Once refreshed, I come back here to find Pippi and your son bitch husband. Shoot him right between the eyes, set her place on fire, roll the bodies in the ditch. And then you and me, well, we can go riding off into the sunset. Now, am I good or what? Uh, I think I'm having second thoughts about that road trip. Oh, come on now, baby doll. Relax. Hey, let's you and me get some more beer and ammo. No, no, I can't go for a drink with you and I can't leave this trailer tonight. I gotta be inside. Indoor shoes. Indoor shoes. Don't you be jerking me around. Now, I'm tired of women jerking me around. You're coming with me. Ah! No! Oh, 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 oh. Cooking spray! Oh, shit! You know what? Fuck all y'all. I'm gonna shoot up this entire trailer park and everybody in it, and it's all your fault. <laughs> you can't stop me because I know where you live, and I know where Pippi lives, and I got a caseload of that there cooking spray because I am a member of Costco. <laughs> Sweating and the shaking reminds me there might be some lies for the taking tonight. My knees weak, I feel my head spin, can't move, and the walls are closing in. What can I do? To save them from a madman with a Marco like a lifetime TV movie and I'm Sarah Jessica Parker starring in Paddock 
I feel panic, panic attack of the most serious kind. I feel panic, it's satanic. The situation is playing tricks with my mind. My nerves feel frayed, my teeth start to grind. Just like Whitney Houston fails in the customs line. Like a round trip ticket on the Titanic. I've got panic. Pepe, it's Tina. Oh my God, you're gonna die. You're just gonna die. Cletus Fingerhut, who's friends with Tyrone Jernabitz, who's friends with Duke, came to the flan stand and he was all like, Duke called Tyrone from Start Florida. And I was all like, what? And he was all like, Duke found Pippi. And I was all like, what? And he was all like, Duke found Pippi. And I was all like, what? And he was all like, Tina, what is your problem? You never pay attention. And I was all like, I am on my period, Clitus. Let me tell Take you about the problem. Point. I'll give you. Duke found you. He's in Stark. He's going to set fire to that trailer park and all the folks inside it. Oh, my God. So when I was all like, Pippi, you're going to die. You're just going to die. I'm in dead, Pippi. You're going to die. <laughs> okay, well, take care. Bye-bye now. Look at you. What a pathetic mess it's been. Since you bought yourself a stylish dress Stuck in time, just like Cher And you've been walking around with Susan Summer's hair It's time to end this agoraphobic trend of pop nightmare I gotta break this prison sentence And join the world out there But I feel planning Concerned about my well being. Hmm. Guess no one here is gonna miss this town slut, so how about I just take one for the team? No need to say thanks. Thanks? Thanks for what? Blowing into Stark and blowing everyone inside? Easy, Jeannie. Oh, Betty! Betty, thank God I got locked out of my trailer! Do you have a spare key? Oh, sure, huh? Oh, thank I you. I always carry the mask. Come on. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, that's so funny! Yes, yes. Give me back that key! Oh, oh Betty, I got something! I got something to say to all of y'all. So now I've been on my own since the age of 16, woman looking after myself by myself. So I don't have any friends to go run my errands for me, or a husband to take care of me. Husband? Why get your own husband when you can steal somebody else's? Ooh. Snack. Did you hear that? <laughs> see, I didn't exactly wrestle Norbert to the ground, Jeannie. The way I see it, he made a choice. Seems he'd rather go two-stepping with me than twelve-stepping with you. <gasps> oh, you want to see crazy, Pippi. Just step a little closer. I'll show you crazy. I ain't afraid of crazy, Jeannie. I'll be doing crazy all my life. I'm hardly going to be intimidated by a woman who won't so much as step outside her front door while her husband's out with another girl painting the town red. Oh, more like painting the town red neck. Jeannie, oh, Jeannie, Jeannie, I'm going to talk to you. I'm in trouble. Oh, hell. <laughs> Not the step. Oh, my God. Oh, get out of my step. Jeannie, you put that step there. I'm going to get out of my step. I'm going to get out of my step. Oh, baby! 
didn't come out of my vagina. <laughs> oh, Dirk! That's right. And I'm here to take you down. Mine's loaded. Damn it. I'm in charge now. I'm in control. Dude, put the gun down. You don't even know how to use it. No! Only this sleazoid for taking away the woman I love. I just tripped. <laughs> oh, well, if she's okay and he shut the you door. You shut my satellite dish. Oh, on, Somebody's gonna have to pay for that. Well, there goes my security deposit. Hey, why well, you gotta be like that? I can pay for things. I can take care of us. Now, oh, please, there was never a bill I didn't pay, never a dish I didn't wash. And don't get me started in having to sing you to sleep like you were some kind of toddler. Hey, now, you know I can only fall asleep to that one sweet lullaby. My mama used to sing that to me every night when I was little. Oh, the devil went down to Georgia. He was looking for a soul to steal. He was in a bind because he was way behind and he was willing to make a deal. <laughs> mama? Oh. Help us, Aaron Gardsteady. Yes, ma'am. Oh, my baby. Holy ham sandwich. Oh. It all makes sense to me now. Why the fates of my out-of-control temper conspire to bring me here? Yes, ma'am. But where have you been for all these years? I was taken from this here trailer park when I was just a young one. It wasn't technically a kidnapping since they first thought I was a dog. Hence the name Duke. They sure were pleased as punch when I stopped drinking out of the toilet bowl. I started making it instead. But they gave me lots of love, and everything was just great. Until that one day, they told me they wanted to raise me as, uh, as a, as a vegetarian. Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh, man sure learns a lot about himself when he's facing a future without bacon bits. So I hightailed it out of there. I lived in the woods, survived on nothing but my own wits. Talk about roughing it. <laughs> when I came back into the real world, I was deeply scarred. Until now. Oh, so, if Norbert is Duke's daddy, and Norbert slept with Pippi, and Pippi slept with Duke, oh, well, that is just nasty. <laughs> so, Jeannie, how does it feel to be out of your trailer? Well, I've been out for about five minutes now. I, I got into my first cat fight. I nearly got shot by a freaked out drifter, who turned out to be my son, who was sleeping with my husband's mistress before she moved in next door and started sleeping with him. Easy, oh, no, no, no. There's no denying things out here get messy. But you think I'd have stuck around Armadillo Acres this long if there wasn't something really special about it? Yeah, that. And that your husband's corpse is buried in my backyard. <laughs> Such a good friend. <laughs> oh, great. Now the electricity comes back on. I tried, Earl. I tried. Oh, hey, look, it's midnight. Happy anniversary, Jeannie and Norbert. Well, you did say you wanted to celebrate outside your trailer. I'm just saying. Come on, girl. Come on, Duke. Let's get you inside and fix you up something to eat. Yes, ma'am. Jeannie, I don't deserve half of what you've done for me here tonight. Well, not even half a half. But please believe me when I say if I could erase everything that's happened over the past month, uh, well, I would. I wouldn't. But for what it's worth, uh, I'd really like a second chance with you. I don't know, Norbert. What I'm thinking is you need a little help with your geometry homework. Why does Dad need help with geometry? Go inside, baby. <laughs> this ain't new. Not to me. This ain't uncharted territory, not to me. Got 
got my eyes open wide it ain't often this girl swallows her pride well thanks for the Don't need a man to face the unknown. It's time to slip on my highest heels and raise my head above this flat breaking. Pray. 